Has this ever happened to you? You're just peacefully strolling through Hyrule, enjoying how peaceful and serene Tears of the Kingdom can be, and then all of a sudden, these ghastly, ghoulish hands emerge from a puddle of nastiness. They scream at you, chase you down, and if they grab you, well, you can kiss your life goodbye. These are Gloom Spawns, also known as Gloom Hands, and they're one of Tears of the Kingdom's most fearsome enemies. Dealing with them is not easy, and it's not cheap, but it can be done, and here's how to do it. First off, let's just get this out of the way. You might enjoy the challenge of taking these things out early on, but the reality is that it just really isn't worth it. Their reward is great, but only if you have a large stockpile of hearts. If you don't, the weapons you get are only going to take up valuable inventory space. So the first big tip when dealing with Gloom Spawn early on is just to run away. In most locations where Gloom Spawn appear, they actually despawn after a set amount of time. It may look like they randomly die for no reason, as they'll leave behind a dark clump material. But make no mistake, you'll know when you've actually defeated them. If you still want to fight them early on, or if you're after their loot in the late game, the biggest tip is to get to higher ground. You don't want to fight these things mano a mano. They take forever to kill. The gloom will quickly reduce your max hearts, and they'll respawn if you don't take them out all around the same time. So the thing to do is to get to the high ground. They cannot climb and will bunch up together as they try to get at you, giving you the perfect opportunity to hit them with some AOE damage. Bomb flowers work wonders and can generally do the job in about five or six hits. And if they don't, you can usually finish off the remainder with your bow. Using a magic rod that does big AOE elemental damage like a sapphire staff also works great. What happens next may be viewed as a pretty big spoiler unless you're already late in the main story, so this is your chance to turn back and find out for yourself what happens when you destroy the hands before you move on. Once you kill all the hands, you're not done. Out of the gloom will spawn a Phantom Ganon, an enemy that will deal massive damage to you if he hits you. But fortunately, he's actually pretty easy to stay out of reach of. Try to get close enough to trigger one of his two melee attacks, which will be either this single vertical or horizontal sword slash, or this spin attack. Once you see him start one of these two attacks, just back up out of range, wait for the attack, get in, hit him with one or two strikes, then get back out. His most threatening attack will be his dash up strike, because if you dodge right when he gets in your face, he will hit you with this slash. To avoid this, delay your instinct to do a backflip right when he gets close. Wait a few beats for him to ready his slash, and then do a backflip. Keep an eye on the puddle of gloom that emanates from around him, as it will prevent you from staying in melee range with him for too long. However, if you can press your attack, the puddle will often recede for a bit. If you're far away from him, he will use a bow to hit you from a distance. If you can get off a headshot before he can shoot, this is a totally fine range to remain at. Otherwise, hold your shield up and wait for him to come back to you. If he transforms into a little puff of gloom, he will move towards you and slash when he reforms. Same deal as the dash. Wait a bit and keep an eye out for when he starts his slash animation, then do a backflip. Keep this up and eventually Phantom Ganon will fall and you'll be rewarded with a gloom sword, a demon king's bow, and several dark clumps. The Gloom Sword has a whopping 41 base damage, but the heavy cost is that every time you hit something with it, it takes away from your maximum heart count. You can avoid this penalty by fusing it with another weapon, but it makes it super brittle and won't last more than a few swings. The Demon King's Bow, on the other hand, will increase your damage the more hearts you have, making it one of the most powerful bows for those with a ton of hearts. But if you don't, it's actually pretty weak. Yellow Hearts also don't increase its damage. And that's what you need to know for bringing down Gloom Spawn in Tears of the Kingdom. For more tips, how-to guides, and our interactive map, make sure to head on over to IGN.com for our Tears of the Kingdom wiki. And for everything else Zelda, keep it here with IGN.